Hello, this is Vance, and this is Monday, April 24th, 2017. These are the CL trades for today using the slow hand method for price action. Early morning bite, I talked about this area right here, and perhaps with a move up, as you can recall, I said that, you know, of course, price can do two, one of two things. It can either go up or it can go down. And in this case, I was looking at this area right here. I was talking about this area being an area of support, right in through here, perhaps here from the overnight, perhaps here, and that pricing as it got to this area right around here, and only either price is going to go up or it's going to go down. And uh, you can't really split hairs. My point was is that we had this overnight. We've had a, a down week last Friday, and... You know, I'm thinking maybe a rotation. Granted, we had two strong moves down here. But now this is just the overnight, so you don't know how long it's going to perform. This is a second entry long here. But again, that's before the open. But when price opens, we had weakness, and price started trading down. Not only does it break through the gap from Friday, but it continues to go down. And this is right at 9 o'clock, right here, 9.01. Now, if you take a trade here... I think it was kind of a risky trade. I didn't take this one. Um, you know, I didn't take it because even though you can say that it was prices stacking up, it's got to break through the previous low in order for you to get your 15 ticks. The uh, contracts here, and I'll just bring this over here. Oops, I got that right. You look at shorting it right at this area. Um, you'd have to go below the, uh, at the time, it'd have to go break below the, the daily low because this is these are new uh, low of the days all the way through this area. So I wasn't really looking at, at going short here, but if you did, you know, it's like Al Brooks says, you know, any reason to go short, you would have been fine. Now, when price gets down to this level, it's really about 9.30. Uh, we have this kind of this uh, turnover. Again, we had this real strong down uh, downtrend, and this is from really, well, from 9 o'clock, but certainly from, you have to argue about from 7.30 on, price is, is exhibiting some weakness. So you look at maybe having another move down. So anytime price is giving you an opportunity to go short, you go short. Now, I marked this one in here. I think that you could also look at this area right here. This is a second entry short right in here. This is another second entry short right here. So any of these moves down to here, as long as it's within that channel. Now, if you got in on these trades, you had to wait a while for it to actually work out. Now, the difficulty with that is that it has to break to new low to get your first contracts off. And you can see that it actually did it right here. Now, do you turn around and do you take the other side of it? Is this enough of a reversal? I don't really know. I mean, it's still kind of flirting with the low of the day. This is the low from Friday, you know, previous day's trading. And so you don't really know whether or not price is going to have to break the low of Friday in order to kind of fill out your contracts. And that's, in fact, what it does. It does break down lower. So if you were to short these trades here near the top of what these double tops are, then you would be fine. And that's why you have to limit in. So these trades are limit trades. You have to limit sell from up here or limit buy from down these areas. Oops from down these areas. Now, when price bounces, okay, right here, is this enough to go long, even though it's kind of, it's not quite as similar as this one, but do you take a long there? You know, if you got, you would have gotten caught. And it, it, price breaks down even further. Second entry long right here, price does rebound, and it really retests the other side of this channel. So I have to say that unless you have full confidence or a really, a good intestinal fortitude to limit in at these tops and limit in when price gets to these bottoms, you're going to be in trouble. You know, I mean, especially with this downtrend. Now, when did this end? It ended about 9.30. It started to rotate. And if you look at it from the perspective of saying, okay, if this is 9, this is 10.30 right here, price starts to rotate. It does move the 30 ticks plus down to here, pulls back, Flo rolls over again, and this is at 11.30, tries to come back, and then from the rest of the day, it was really kind of trading within a pretty narrow range. And so um, I would say that if you, you know, to be aggressive, you'd have to limit it at these bottoms, and if you're going to be a seller, look at price to get up to this area, but it never quite got there. And so we just kind of, if you got into the, these trades, you might have gotten stuck for an extended period of time. And certainly, if you get in a little late, you don't get your 15 ticks off. You probably be out looking at closing this out around here. So really, the only trade really was this short at nine o'clock, which is really not very clear, and taking these shorts with this really pretty tight range um, later in the morning, and so forth. What about tomorrow? 
What does tomorrow hold? Well, now we're below forty, fifty dollars a barrel. We're kind of flirting with forty nine, and we got down down to forty nine oh three. So coming in tomorrow, and we'll see what the overnight is. But look at from the last couple of days. If we look all the way back to last Thursday, look at the pricing from last Thursday um, or last Wednesday. Price is kind of like come all the way off of fifty three, and now we're forty. That's four dollar drop as far as oil prices are concerned over the course of the last, uh, just over the last week. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure how we, what we would look at from from this perspective. I mean, the ES market's been pretty tight, pretty strong. Uh, we're flirting with twenty four hundred again on the S and P, and so. <clears throat> Does that bode well for oil prices? Uh, that's something to kind of really keep in mind as we go into tomorrow. So if you held your head above water today, you're doing good. I mean, the thing is, were there really a lot of clear trades? No, I'm afraid there weren't. I mean, you'd have to really take a leap of faith. If you are lose out in your first couple of trades, I think you just kind of sit on the sidelines and wait for, for uh, fair weather and clear ideas, and particularly tomorrow. At $49, I think that prices are close to a bottom, at least in the short term. And so I would probably be looking more, have a long bias, but it all depends on what happens in the overnight. Um, if there's any news that comes out that's somewhat bearish, we might go down somewhat further. But then again, if we get some bearish news and prices don't move any lower, we really know we're in inner bottom. And so it may be the time to take the other position. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, that's just the nature of trading. You have to kind of be you have to have maintain the right level of perspective and it's either context or price action one of the two of them uh who's in balance and who's in control and you know we're trying to make uh a, an educated guess uh based on past performance that's always the case in trading it's always going to be the case in trading i would suspect and so uh, that's what we have to look at going forward tomorrow and beyond so I hope this gives you some insight for what, what I was looking at today and what I think. It was a tough day or I, either way. So that's something to keep in mind as you go forward. But I think there was still a couple of trades to be had. Thanks for watching. This is Vance. If you have any questions, please let me know. Bye for now.